Deciding what to be taught is arguably the toughest challenge all schools face. Here are my eight ideas to help with curriculum thinking. Tip number one, deciding what to be taught. It's structure, the curriculum will drive assessment, not the other way around. This must be the foundations of a good school curriculum. Tip number two is the relevance. Good school curriculum meets the needs of its pupils. Of course, there's statutory obligations, but you'd be surprised how few schools consider what can they do that's unique to their own individual setting. Make your school align to your pupil community. Tip number three, the why question. Knowledge, skills, lifelong contributors to society. Here's a big challenge for us all. What do we want out of our curriculum, but why? Tip number four is the impact. So know who is going to teach the content, when and how. In a primary context, your teachers are going to deliver all the subjects. In a secondary setting, teachers become more specialised, content becomes richer and deeper, and they start to specialise in their own subject domain. Who are those teachers? Where are your gaps? And how will you fill them? And more importantly, how will you disseminate best practice? Tip number five is the development. So we can go into a beginning developing embedding phase in terms of quality assurance. This will be applicable at whole school level as well as middle leadership. Who are the people that are gonna drive this? When does it thread into the calendar? How does the quality assurance process lead to school improvement? And how can all teachers be involved, pupils and parents? Tip number six. Now we know sequencing lots of research and retrieval space practice emerging across the profession right now. How does the sequence of your curriculum align with na national guidance or what research recommends on developing schema, long-term retention, et cetera, et cetera. So um, thinking about those knowledge-rich approaches, how do we plan in at a curriculum level to medium-term plans to individual lesson routines? Now tip number seven, I've always said you can have the best curriculum plans on paper, but can your teachers bring it to life? It's all right evaluating all the paperwork, but how do you evaluate quality in the classroom through pupil conversations, through observations, work emerging through books or physical activities in the classroom, such as your PEs and dramas? There's a whole range of things to consider here. How do you bring your curriculum plans to life? And then tip number eight, rethinking the kind of development and then embedded phase. How do you use this process as a loop to know what's being taught, when and how, but what areas of this need refinement. Let's face it, curriculum evolves, new ideas emerge, new practice in the teaching profession gets better, so we should equally look to readjust our curriculum content to meet the needs of our students. There's my eight ideas, let me know what you think, hope the resource is useful.